and we're back for another episode. In this episode I'm going to be doing Hydra for the Warrior Relic. I am joined today by Amanda Hug and Kiss. Say hello. Hello. So we've joined a random group in Party Finder. So let's do this. Warface is on, girl. So, the objective, defeat the Hydra. It's like, wow, I didn't know that. It's a mystery. Hmm. But they didn't put any cannons. How are we supposed to do it? What I want to know is what goes down the cave behind him. Yeah. Do you get like that as well, where you just... Uh, you're not satisfied with what you've been presented. You want to see the everything else. Well, if it looks like I can go there, I want to be able to go there. That's all. Yeah. If you don't want me going, if you don't want me going behind a door, make it so I can't see behind it. I just don't put a door. Put a solid brick wall. I mean, for me, for example, when I'm hanging out at the mist at the house, um, I'll look off to the islands off in the distance, and yeah, I'll I just think to, there's an there's an island over there. I want to swim to and hang out and build myself a little grass hut. Exactly, yeah. I'll just think, oh, I wish I could go there, it's not fair. Okay, here we go. So I'm, I'm gonna off tank and pull the ads, I guess. This tank is full item level 90, so he should be able to solo tank this. One thing I tend to do when I play these days is I will just be holding down right click like constantly so I can easily, you know, change direction and turn and so on. Yeah, mobility is number one in this game. Absolutely. And then that, that's also the reason why my push to talk is one of my other mouse buttons. Wyvern. It's on me as usual. Yeah, trying to get him, but he's in a really annoying place. You're not going to take him off me. Like the, the paladin saying that you should do it is silly because you're not going to take him off. I'm not. You're not going to get him from me. So, I mean, I could try if uh, it wasn't for the perfect formation of frost and fire in front of him. No, oh, that's true too, that helps. Middle, middle, middle. Yep. 
Oh, frost. Middle, middle, middle. Heavy. I hate heavy. Heavy sucks, especially when no, no one knows how to use leeches. So, once, um, I did mention it in a previous video, uh, we were doing Antibor Keep and we had a scholar. And we kept saying to him on the last boss, use leeches, otherwise you won't be able to heal the tank and we will die. And the scholar was 100% convinced that um, only white mages are able to use anything equivalent to Isuna. Did he not do his quests? I don't think so, no. He was absolutely 100% convinced that there was no such thing as leeches and that we were just making fun of him. Oh, look at that, you got it. Awesome. Yeah, all I had to do was, like, stun and flash and provoke and a million other abilities at once. <laughs> I just had to push my buttons. Yeah. It's like I've got an unfinished relic and you've got Alligan weapons. I I'm full all 90. <laughs> yeah. And I'm at level 70 right now. Yay. Woohoo! Done. So, yep. Smooth kill, perfect run, one shot, cough cough, lie lie. <laughs> we totally didn't wipe twice and re-record. Uh, totally didn't. It, it just didn't happen. Nope, never happens like that. Ever. Ever. No. So, let me now go back to Geralt in North Shroud and see what he wants me to do next. So, thank you for the help. Always appreciate well, it. very welcome. So, let's see what Geralt says next. So, yeah. I do like the fact that when I play the game, I have a, a Samsung like 800 Pro solid state hard drive. So, like, I zone in about three seconds, as you can see in my videos, whereas people on PlayStation 3 probably spend, like, 10, 20 seconds to zone. Oh, I know, I love my zone times now. I've always had a SSD, but I recently built a new machine with, um, a new Corsair drive, um, an i7 chip, and my load times are ridiculous. It's like, blink, 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 blink. Yeah. One thing I got recently, because, um, I needed to, was one of those SATA free um, cards that you can plug into one of your spare PCI Express ports. And the reason I needed that is because the SATA free port built into the motherboard is absolutely rubbish. It like, um, I was getting more performers out of the SATA, SATA 2 Intel ports than the Marvel SATA free ones. And the reason why is because the Marvel ones I have on the motherboard are like the original, like first ever SATA free ports. So I had to get the card just to get like reliable performance from the SATA 3. Oh wow. But the good thing is is that because SATA, uh, because PCI Express is so powerful that one car can have like two um, SATA 3 hard drives plugged into it at once. Anyway, enough of the technical stuff. Here is Geralt. So Geralt says, uh, you're still alive? Um, you know, Gordon's alive? Anyway. Uh, why the hells do you adventurers have to be so goddamn sturdy? I was bloody sure you'd be Hydra dung by now. Um, but what's done is done, or in this case, not done. Um, any road, let's talk about the text you brought. It follows the life of Iron Eater, the legendary uh, Cell Sword, or maybe Cell Axe, um, who lived five centuries ago. Um, the man was the ultimate warrior, if the accounts are uh, to be believed. With the amount of coin Ionita demanded for his services, they say he could hire... They, sorry, they say you could hire a uh, whole bleeding army. Um, that will keep me in mead for a fortnight, har har har. Um, ahem. Any road, I managed to find mention of uh, bra bravura in amongst all of the maiming and killing. Like any warrior worth his soul, Ionita wielded a bravura, but there was a telling difference. Um, his axe head was forged to weigh double the usual. Um, not a weapon for the faint of heart, I tell you. 
Um, needless to say, the thing uh, was a bugger to wield. But gods, if you had the brute strength to, to swing it, ho ho, um, you could make a proper mess of someone. Um, as you can see, um, I've done my research. I trust you've also been pulling your weight, putting the relic to use, like I said. Well, go on then, tell me what you've learned. So Mifri is quickly blabbering. And Geralt says, is that so? Aye, um, I've wondered about that. Um, based on what you've gleaned from the text and your first-hand experience, I'll rework the relic so as to improve your affinity with it. Hand it over for a second, will you? So, I just need to re-equip my Titan Axe and then hand over the unfinished relic. There we go. So, I'm going to give it over now to Geralt. So Geralt says, uh, there, the deed's done. That leaves us with one last step. Um, that is, fully merging the old relic, the new host, and the soul of the bearer. Aye, that's you. Um, only then can the weapon be restored to its former glory. Um, but to do this, I need a fire uh, what's hotter than the seventh hell. And to keep such a fire alive and raging, I need a wind what's fiercer than, than um, the hangover I had last week. Uh, Gah, you know what I mean. Um, just get me a hot white ember, a howling gale, and a chunk of hyperfused ore, and I'll finish your bloody weapon. Ah, and I need a bottle of rads at hand, quenching all as well, to cool it off. So it says, the white hot ember, the howling gale, and the chunk of hyperfused ore can be obtained by defeating Ifrit in the bowl of embers hard, Garuda in the howling eye hard, and Titan in the navel hard, respectively. The bottle of rads at hand, quenching oil, can be obtained by exchanging 900 Alagon tombstones of philosophy with Ariana, one of Rowena's assistants at a Revenant's Toll. Okay, so that's it. Next step will be to do Ifrit Hard Mode for this quest, as a warrior, for me. So anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, goodbye from Mifri, and goodbye from Amanda Hug and Kiss. Goodbye.